Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and we are live again, once again, for another live call along. Here we are back on Facebook. I've missed everybody. Um, took a little bit of a break uh, from color alongs for the past month, but then uh, before that, I was on YouTube, and uh, a lot of people kept saying, why, on it? why are you not doing these on Facebook anymore? So now I've made some changes, and here I am back on Facebook. So let's do a sound check from our resident sound check person. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. And uh, we're going to uh, get started in just a couple of minutes. We're going to wait for the room to fill. And we are using tape today, my favorite little toy to play with. And we're using colored pencils this morning, too. So this is going to be a fun color along. We're flipping through a brand new book. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited about this color along. We've got a lot of changes happening with it. We've got some brand new coloring techniques. We've got a brand new book. Color, color, thank you, Sharon. Got a brand new book, um, Color Along Volume 16. I remember when I did my very first volume of Color Along books and I sat here talking to myself, um, which it still feels like I'm talking to myself sometimes, but I know you're all listening. And uh, the other part that's exciting is here we are on a Thursday. So we are movers and shakers and uh, really trying to, uh, I guess, change things up. I don't know. I just felt like it needed a little bit of change. Changed it over to, from YouTube to Facebook. Um, moved over from uh, Mondays to Thursdays. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm just on a roller coaster. I don't know about you. So good morning to everyone. Good morning to Jean Mellinger. Carrie Taylor is here from across the pond in the UK. Good morning, good morning, to, or good afternoon to Carrie. Sharon's here with us this morning. Sharon has agreed to be our sound check person, so thank you to Sharon. Uh, along with Alice, she always tells me when the, sh when the sound is good. Bev Larson, hello, my friend. How are you? Missed you, Bev Larson. Uh, Alice, good morning. Good morning to Heather Berger. Did you guys all catch the color along that Heather Berger did uh, from my Easter book? Heather's going to be uh, doing some more live color alongs over in my coloring group, in the Just Color coloring group. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. That Heather always does a wonderful job, and I'm just really, really, really thrilled that she's going to be doing that. So uh, who else is here? Good morning to Cheryl Waters. So we are here with a brand new brand new book color along volume 16 honestly i never imagined that this would ever get to this many volumes when i did the very first one i didn't even call it a volume i just called it the color along book. <laughs> um but i want to take a look through it we're going to take a look at the schedule a couple of people had asked um about the schedule and where can i get it and um if you head over i'm actually going to pop the link excuse my my keyboard my my letterless keyboard, as everyone tries to tell me. Um, if you go over to my website, annmanera.com, I've got to get Paisley something. Hang on a second, Paisley, I'm helping you. Go ahead. Okay. Got to make sure the dogs are taken care of, right? Okay, so let's see. If you go over to my uh, website, annmanera.com, and you click on events, I'm going to pop the link here. Um... If I can find where the heck I am here. Oh, you're welcome, Heather. I thought it was great. And that day I had a doctor's appointment and then I was kind of in and out for the rest of the day. So I was watching kind of like uh, in and out, but um, I appreciate it. And we'll be in touch more to, I have some stuff I need to send you to. Um, so if you click over on that uh, annmanera.com slash events, you'll be able to get all of the uh, event calendars you'll get be able to get the monthly calendar i know it says march right now on there uh, but the april calendar is published and um you'll be able to get the color long schedule the drawer along schedule you'll be able to get dates for uh um coloring camps and for painting retreats so a few things i want to say about this is that um let's be sure that everyone is clear that we're on thursdays at 10 a.m from now on um april 8th is today Welcome to April, and we're move, We're going to be working on this book all the way through September 2nd. So I also do want to go over a couple of little uh, housekeeping things, I guess, uh, just to make you aware of a few different dates. Spring Coloring Camp has been scheduled, and it, it will take place on May 12th through 16th. Camp will be five days this time, and it will be... Um, from Wednesday through Sunday, but I'm really excited because I've got some new sponsors for Coloring Camp. Some my five of my favorite uh, coloring book artists are sponsoring camp with me, and um, 
Draw alongs continue. We're working on, we're going to be working on volume five, which I believe is going to begin in July. So stay tuned for that. And painting retreats are happening on uh, Mondays at 10 a.m. now. And uh, I've decided to continue them pat beyond April. So if you're still interested in joining a painting class, uh, you can join by, by four week sessions. You don't have to commit to every single Monday. Um, so it's going to be four week sessions and uh, it just begins the first Monday of every month. So, so that's what's happening. So let's talk about this. Uh, color along tutorials in this book include the list that is here. We're working on textures with tape. And I think that what's going to be fun about this is going to be some new and exciting uh, color alongs uh, throughout this book. So for today, I'm using Spera Farben colored pencils and I'm using masking tape, my favorite toy to play with. And I just have a, a piece of cardboard. I honestly don't know where this came from. And I'm just going to create a temp, a kind of a rubbing template with this tape. I've done it before in the past, but just in case you never saw it before, we're going to have a lot of fun with that today. So let's just do a quick flip through of this book. Um, Speckled is for the next is for next week. Then the following week, we're working on this grayscale page with woodless colored pencils. Hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I'm waiting for a FedEx delivery. And of course, they attempted the delivery yesterday that needed a signature. And now uh, they're supposed to deliver it today. And I'm extremely excited about my FedEx delivery today because my FedEx delivery is a brand new iPad. And why I'm telling you this <laughs> is because this means that I have finally given in to... Uh, using Procreate or using an iPad to draw a coloring book. So I'm extremely, hey Heidi, I'm extremely excited about that. So um, I'm excited about my new iPad, my Apple Pencil. I had kind of resisted it. I did not want to uh, draw with the Apple Pencil. I wanted to only draw by hand and with a pencil. But um, here, Heidi, I've decided to take the plunge. It's going to be exciting, I know. Yes. Um, so refresh, Bev, refresh. So um, they tried to deliver yesterday and I wasn't here during that like sliver of time that they were supposed to be here or that they arrived. So of course, we know when the doorbell will ring, right? During the column along. So that'll be fun. Um, so we've got Crayola Super Tips coming up with water. Never did that one before during a column along. Oh my goodness, Paisley. Come on, girl. Here, come here. Come over here. Look. Here are all your toys. Go ahead. Sorry about that. <laughs> Can't have a color along without Paisley in the background. Grayscale with colored pencils on this page. Warm colors. Moving on to this kind of simple still life line drawing. Good morning to Bonnie Hughes and Lynn Fasella. Just a number two pencil. Um... Does anybody else use an iPad, use an Apple Pencil? I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do with it, to be honest with you. Um, I have a Wacom tablet that I use that's similar to that. Uh, back in the day when they didn't have I, I, Apple Pencils and iPads with Apple Pencils. So it's going to be interesting. Um, stained glass for this one. This one is pointillism. That's always a fun one, isn't it? Uh, blending with colored pencils is going to be fun. This is a nice grayscale page. A few people have commented already that they cannot wait um, to uh, to do this one. Heather says, I just got an Apple Pencil. Can't wait to find time to experiment with it. I know. That's what I'm thinking. When am I going to have the time? You know, I try not to uh, spend... It seems that I spend a lot of time in front of the computer, but honestly, I do not. If you see me posting stuff, what I do is just kind of sit here for like a 20 minute chunk of time and I just post, 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 post and I schedule everything ahead of time. So if you see a post, like somebody, one of my friends said to me, what were you doing up at 2 a.m. putting something on Instagram? I was not, I scheduled it ahead of time. <laughs> I was sleeping at 2 a.m. Who else is here? Sandra, good morning and good morning to Mamie. See, every, all, of the, all, all of the old gang is back, right? Neutral colors for this one. Make it pop. This is always a fun one. Paisley's playing like crazy right now. <laughs> like I've never seen. Uh, just five colors for this one. Um, oil pastels, another kind of still life one. Northern lights with chalk pastels. Just a blue pen. That's going to be a lot of fun, just a blue pen. Um, impressionism style. And colored pencils with blending oil on this grayscale. 
and then monochromatic is the last one for here. So, um, of course, two copies of every page in this book so that you can color twice. Uh, you can color with me today or you could uh, take a, just watch today and be entertained. I don't know. So we're going to make the, the plate first, the rubbing plate first. I just have a piece of cardboard um, and I'm just going to keep putting tape on it. Just kind of popping tape. My favorite little thing to play with is masking tape. I don't know. I was watching this thing the other day. Did anyone see that video about like what you would... Like when you were a kid, the things you would do, like when you would spread glue on your hand. Did anybody else do that? Glue. I'm just going to kind of overlap these. Um, and what it's doing is it's just kind of creating some texture and some something you can actually, you know, feel it. Touch the screen. You can touch it and you can feel it. Hey, Lynn. Lynn, do you feel like you've gone back to school today? Doesn't it? Lynn and I uh, had a private painting lesson yesterday, and let me tell you, very relaxing, Lynn. I have to say, it was one of the most enjoyable painting paintings I have, or I don't know what it was. That was fun. Don't you think? It was very enjoyable. Did you all see the painting that Lynn did yesterday? It was a, um, I think I have it above me. Bev is telling us, finally. How's it going, Bev? Haven't seen you in a while, right? I'm hoping that it's still not, it's not cold there anymore. Up north, right? The noise that is happening behind me. This dog is crazy today. So I kind of like this little wrinkle that's there and you'll see what happens when we get to the wrinkle part. <laughs> Lynn's laughing. You're laughing at the painting, Lynn? Or you're laughing at how we were, when we, while we were painting? I'm not really sure what that gigantic noise was, but excuse me one moment while I go check to see uh, what the noise was upstairs in my house. Hang on one second, everyone. Okay. Missy, a newbie here. Well, thank you. How did you find us? Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Beth says, we have been so busy and we are now down on a month lockdown. Hey, good morning to Barb. Um, the painting that we're talking about, I guess I should show it, right? It's above me. That means I have to stand up. Ugh. Don't you get that feeling sometimes when you kind of have to stretch for something? I don't know what is going on upstairs in my house, but there was a lot of noise happening. It must be the crowd that's up there. It's crazy. No, I'm kidding. Um, there was a lot of noise going on up there. I don't know what's happening, as long as everyone's safe. Okay, so this is the painting we did yesterday. This was uh, a private lesson. I offer private painting lessons. I don't know if anybody realizes that, but um, I do offer private painting lessons. I have a few more openings left. Um, and we get together every couple of weeks and um, we paint for an hour, hour and a half, I guess. And we lost track of time yesterday, right? Yeah, so Lynn thought that this needed to have like the screen from the screen painting. So she added it, which I thought was funny. Um, hers looks different than mine because everyone's looks different, right? No two paintings look the same. Just look for coloring pages and I pop up. Where did you, where were you looking for them? On Facebook or on, uh, like, uh, just on the internet, Missy? Interesting. If you would like to share this, co this color along over on a uh, coloring group or over on your Facebook page, thank you, Heather Berger, um, I would really, really appreciate it. The more views it gets, the better off we are. When I first started, I know that it's hard to get a lot of views now on Facebook, um, totally different than it used to be. I remember when I first started doing Facebook Lives, I used to reach like, I don't know, something like 50,000 uh, Facebook pages um, a month. And now it's so different. 
Oh, very, very cool. Good morning to Carol Blaze. How are you, my friend? Um, what is new in your world? So now I've just kind of created this uh, masking tape blending plate, basically. I mean, you can buy these, but why buy them? Good morning, Alexandria. Uh, why buy them? Make them yourself. You could use anything. You could use a rubber spatula. You could use a slotted spatula. You could use sandpaper underneath the page. I don't know if it's, Alice uses a lot of different types of things. If you've ever seen anything that Alice has colored, um, it's amazing what Alice can do with different types of um, textures behind the page, you know? And it's just basically what you put on it. So we're just gonna jump right in. So I'm just gonna place this underneath the page over in this corner here, and I can kind of feel it. I mean, I don't know, touch the screen, see if you can feel that too. And then I'm going to use this 96 pack of, um, of colored pencils. Get rid of the papers. And I don't, I mean, we've gotta just kind of jump in with any color, right? So I'm gonna go with this blue. This one is called Summer Sky. Doesn't it remind you of like, um, a Frank Sinatra song or something. Kind of reminds me of that. I'm just gonna give it a quick sharpen. And whew. what's gonna happen, you'll see, is as I color over this, I'm gonna use this space right here, just light enough that it actually is picking up some of the lines that are behind there. So see how this just kind of picking up? Should I go in a little bit closer? Hang on a second, hold on to your seat. I'm just gonna go a little bit closer. I don't want anyone to need Dramamine. I was watching somebody doing a Facebook Live the other day. I don't even remember who it was. Nobody we probably all know. But anyway, all they kept doing was zooming in and zooming out. Zooming in, zooming out. Heather says, I use the back of a placemat that has texture. That's an awesome idea. The other thing I wanted to mention was that Heather, genius about the cutting board for the watercolor pencils. I'm going to steal that idea. How about that? I'm going to use that. I hope you don't mind if I use that. Then I'm going to take this green, which is called lime, and just kind of color across it. And it's just going to kind of magically jump into the spaces. So it's kind of creating not only that texture, but multicolor. And I kind of like the combination of these two colors because they're not really mixing together as much as they're just kind of laying on top of one another. So that's kind of like a layering type thing. Thank you, Heather. Um, someone gifted these to me, Bev, actually, believe it or not. This was a birthday gift from somebody, um, from a very good friend. And it blows me away every time I, I go to my mailbox. And it's just amazing how generous people are. This one's called Coral. I'm gonna jump it, jump right into this one now. So I hope you get the get the gist of what's happening here. The other thing you could use for some sort of texture is you could actually use um, you could actually use the actual cardboard. You know, burlap. Thank you, Alice. That's another great item for texture. What else does people do? People use for texture. Um, I'm gonna do this one with the coral also. See how it's just kind of picking up those little bits of lines that are there? You almost have to color uh, not too much of a heavy pressure, but not too much of a light pressure because you still want that to kind of pop through, right? Good morning to Jean. How are you? Doesn't it? This is always my, one of my favorite... Uh, techniques to do. I've done this before, um, but it's nice to add the different colors on top of it. Look, I'm adding this uh, vanilla flower, which I never really think is actually vanilla, to be honest with you. Me, to me, vanilla is like white, don't you think? Um, yeah, just look around your house is what Heather's saying. There are so many different things you could use for textures or texture, as we say with my neck of boards. Carol says, what is new? I have a crazy cat that is still part kitten. I am seeing a really nice man. My goodness, this is great news. And I popped in for a bit on this color long. Well, this is exciting. That it sounds all very, very exciting, Carol. Doesn't it feel like spring kind of always brings like a newness to life? I think it does. I think that when April hits, it's almost like there's like um, 
all these new things start happening and I don't know, life just gets different. All right, so there is my blue again. I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, uh, twine, twine in foil. Yes, I totally agree. Crumpled paper too, doesn't it else? Crumpled paper is another good thing to pop behind something. Um, uh, I bet, um, I think we need to do sandpaper next. Sandpaper would be cool. I don't think I've done sandpaper in a while. That would be a good one to use. Um, good morning, Mary Hannah. I feel like I'm taking my old, taking my life back. I know I've kind of felt like that over the past couple of, uh, couple of weeks myself. Just kind of catching up on stuff. Still, want, still a few more things to, uh, to kind of take back. But I agree with you. Sometimes it happens, don't, don't you think? Sometimes you're throwing a curveball in life. And that's what happens. I'm using a board from a Tupperware toy, uh, Lynn is telling us. Oh, that must be very interesting. So please, don't forget to share this color along. That would be awesome. So I'm just kind of playing around with different spaces and shapes and just kind of jumping around and moving around. I'm not worried about creating any type of pattern or randomness um, or organized mess. I don't know, organized chaos. Are you a uh, spontaneous colorer, colorist, colorist, colorist? I've never used stamp paper before, um, Alice is saying. I don't think I have either, but we should try that. So this is kind of just picking up those lines that are in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of this lime green. That's right here. So a lot of people have been asking me, what are you working on for books? And I haven't released an actual coloring book. I feel like it's been in a long time. Yeah, I look at people that release coloring books and like, I don't know. They say, it'll be out in a year. And I just think to myself... I would be bored if I had to wait that long. So I'm working on um, a few different books, actually. And the most exciting book that I'm working on, which I'm really excited about, I was working on it last night and then had to put myself to bed <laughs> and had to say, uh, you've got to go to bed. Like, you, you can't just keep sitting here. Um, I'm working on the Color Along Handbook Volume 3. I'm excited about that one. And I'm working on, I'm going to be doing a painting handbook. Uh, let's see my list here. Uh, Draw Along 5 will be coming out. And then I'm working on kind of a frenzy style type book, like a doodling, tangling style book. So um, I've been drawing that. And I think that's it. Sandpaper can make a sweater on someone look like a sweater. Really? Good to know, Heather. Thank you. This is just kind of a, um, this is called Blue Violet. A little scratchy, though. I didn't like how that kind of came out a little too scratchy. When uh, Heather did that last color along, you, what did you use for texture underneath? Did you create texture with something underneath for those eggs? Or did you do it with, um, did you do it with, um, like the texture on the page. I, th I don't think you put anything underneath, right? Heidi, thank you, Heidi. Heidi says, I just only ordered volume two handbook and can't wait till it arrives. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, there's two volumes of the handbook and I'm working on volume three. So I don't know really know when it's gonna come out. I don't have no idea. I don't put a date on it. <laughs> I'm not that organized, um, but it is gonna have some different uh, techniques in it. Um, I know that sepia will be in it and same basic format you know um but those are fun books i don't know what happened to me when i made when i first did the first volume heidi i was so like hesitant you know when you try to do something and you just kind of make it bigger than it is and then you just never um yeah you didn't put anything underneath it that's right heather thank you um i do remember now you know when you try to do something and you just keep overthinking it and then you're like I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to do it. So finally one day I just sat down and said, the only way I'm going to be able to actually create this book is if I just do it. 
Heather says, oh, Alice making comment. How about a porcupine coloring book? For some reason, I keep thinking about porcupines in a coloring book. Well, I did think of doing a coloring book with little houses. Um, like all of the camp houses, kind of a spinoff of all of the houses that are on the camp books. I did think of that. I don't know if I would really want to have that much of a relationship with a porcupine. Have you? I don't even know if I've ever even seen a porcupine in real life. Have you, Alice? Oh, overthinking is the enemy of creativity and productivity, along with being interrupted, right? Interrupt, being interrupted is the, uh, make sure, is the most frustrating thing when you're trying to create something. Yeah, that overthinking thing, you got to get rid of it, right? Yeah, I was thinking almost a book about, that's what I was thinking, Carol. Carol knows my love for miniatures. About a thing of miniatures. I was going to call it mini. I have an obsession with things miniatures. Dawn says, I'm finding I have to do that type of thinking a lot late. I have so much to get done. I know you have a lot going on, Dawn. Good to see you, by the way. Um, I've had a lot happening, too. March was like, I don't know what happened to me in March. I mean, it was like... Every day there was something happening. Doctor's appointments. Uh, it, it was just like stuff being, work being done at my house. And uh, it was just a crazy, crazy, crazy month. I feel like I'm on like vacation for April. I don't know what it is. It was just, it was just really nuts. Do you ever have months like that? Dead on the side of the road. <laughs> hey, better than uh, it kind of walking across, you know? walking across my uh my legs <gasps> Ooh, that would be awful wouldn't it that would be terrible you could do the scream andy warhol style oh maybe i could do something like that i don't know what kind of permissions i need though for that type of book that's why i kind of stay away from it penguins are they popular now thank you mary i love drawing penguins penguins and porcupines boy that would be quite a uh a combination I do have um, some, uh, a couple of people in my family have gotten puppies over the past uh, few months. So they have asked me to work on a book with the, that's kind of like a little homage to the puppies. Do you love miniatures too, Heather? Are you a tiny home person too? Do you love the tiny homes? I was actually watching, um, I follow a couple of YouTube channels with people that live in tiny homes or that are nomads. And there was a place in Tennessee actually that um, builds tiny homes. I wish I could remember the name of it, but Facebook Live just kinda, I don't know what it does to me. It makes my brain hurt. Do you ever have that feeling, Heather? When you're doing a live video? It's like you have like Facebook Live brain fog. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking to myself, I need a piece of paper so that I can write down what all of these little things that everyone is telling me. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. All right, so, so far we've said penguins. This is how books are born. Hedgehogs. This is the best part about color alongs. Hey, Marianne, color alongs are where uh, books are born, right? I know, I love them too, but I'm not really sure if I could live in one. I mean, my house is pretty big, so I don't think that, um, and I'm not sure if I could even live in one. A porcupine even though we're going to kind of talk about it being dead on the side of the road. Um, best buddies book with animals that would not be normal buddies. Ooh, brain fog is my middle name. I have a sloth book, Heidi. I do have a sloth book. Um, I know brain fog. Can you, I know. Isn't it crazy, brain fog? I spend a lot of time in a fog. Or I spend a lot of time trying to... Uh, Think about other things than what I really want to think about. How about that? Opossums. Ooh, that's right. An opossum is our friend. I'll put that on here. We are spoiled with big old houses. I know. We are. Although, the other day, this is funny. You'll appreciate this. Giraffes. Okay, I'm writing this down. I need, like, Scarlet or Paisley to come over here with a pen. Let me tell you, they need to hurry up, get rid of their, stop taking their nap. 
The other day, uh, I was, oh, look at this pencil. It's called, nope, there's no place like home. Should I be clicking my heels? Yeah, I need space for my supplies too. And that would be an issue. I would have to like have like a trailer outside my tiny home so I could have space for my stuff. That would be, that's a huge problem, right? Um, but it's funny because the other day I was, um, I was folding clothes and I don't know what happened, but it was like this tiny little space. And there I was with the clothes basket. Um, I think my mom was sitting there too. So there was two people, two dogs. And I just looked over at her and said, this house is like 1600 square feet or something. And here we are sitting in this little tiny space, <laughs> two people and two dogs. It was a little crazy, but the dogs just wanted to hang, I guess. I don't know. I grew up in a big, very old and beautiful home. Um, yeah, my house is old. My house is, a hundred, is almost 100 years old. I always have to remind myself that my house is a hundred, almost 100 years old, um, especially when I start to hear the floor really creaking. That kind of worries me sometimes. When the floor is like, it's like there's so many creaks lately. This one came out pretty good. This is probably my best, my favorite one so far. I'm going to add a little bit of this vanilla on top of it. You could have a tiny home for your studio. I thought about doing that. I thought about, I want to actually build my own, Heather. That's the big problem I have is that I think I could just do that myself. Like, why am I even going to bother? So I have this thing in my head that I could build a whole thing in my backyard out of pallets. Porcupines and penguins would not hum, would normally hang out together. Very true. That's a good idea, Amy. I am going to have to write that back down on my piece of paper here. So friends that would not hang together. So a, I'm going to call them atypical friends. And I'm going to put animals because, I don't know. You could do this. Maybe the Scream Andy Warhol style. That would be cool. Miriam is saying, mine was built in 1929, the year my mom got married. Yeah, mine was built in, uh, I think 1920, actually, I think 1929 or 1928. Miriam, do you think that maybe we might be related? <laughs> Miriam and I always have like the weirdest things in common, honestly. I was actually thinking that the other day. Could you imagine if we were related? on like we we found each other on ancestry.com that would be weird has anyone ever found a relative on uh like as they were researching their ancestry that they have like kind of been friends with in a in a coloring group or any type of group paisley makes new friends she's very particular you know about her friends but i'm gonna add it to this okay um, she's a little particular, Hazel. She doesn't really like to make friends too easily. She's like, she, you introduce her to a new friend and she kind of gets like, hmm, not so much. I'm not sure if I like that one, that person, that dog. She's just not really like a, I mean, she's friendly, but she's just not, she should be a little friendlier to new people. She sits over to the side. I guess she's kind of a little bit of a snob, but it's okay. Why not? So this is just this uh, rose. I feel like every time I announce the pencils names, I have to say it like I'm on like a microphone or a megaphone. Rose Luster. Do you feel like you should do that? Well, are you making, are you announcing the colors when you're coloring by yourself? There's the better question, right? She may not like the friends, but she's looking. Oh, that's true. Maybe she should be, maybe it should be Paisley date, Paisley, Paisley tries online dating. Maybe it should be that. That would be funny. She could be like Chandler Bing in Friends where he found something wrong with everybody. You know, when he used to say, uh, she chews too loud. Her eyelashes make a noise. I love these pencils, Bev. I really do. I have the, the 72 set also. 
They're really nice, especially on grayscale. They're really nice. Because they're an oil-based pencil, so that makes a big difference. Sometimes the odor of them does kind of get to me if it's a humid day. Um, but it's nice outside today, so it's not bad. So uh, what do you think about this whole texture texture thing? Not texture, texture. Paisley is looking for a new friend. I know, maybe she should be like, um, it could be like date online dating for people, but it's like friendship seeking for dogs. It's hard to make new friends though sometimes, right? Especially um, during kind of like what we're living through. It's kind of hard to make new friends. I'm going to go with this light blue. Yeah, these are really nice. They're very creamy. Yes, thank you, Marianne. That's a very good point. Very, very creamy. Bev says, great, and I was so happy to be able to do your grayscale. I couldn't believe when I was able to print it out. I know, you did a really, really nice job. What does everybody think about those challenges? Um, and Carol, whenever you are ready to uh, come back. Hey, Emily. Whenever, if you're ever ready to come back for, you ever have time to come back and do some challenges, please just let me know. I, I was thinking about you the other day and I said to myself, I hope Carol doesn't think that I like kicked her out because not at all. I know you had some stuff going on, so. So here is just kind of like this yellow on top of this, but see how that kind of makes like a little triangle right there? Not bad. I like this color, actually. This one's called... Oh, no, that's not the one. Let's not give it... Oh, here it is. Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Yeah, the flower still life's are nice, aren't they? I'm loving it, too, Mary. Isn't it nice? This is a fun way to color. And then some of them you can just kind of leave, like that one. I'm going to leave it because I feel like that should just kind of have that white between it. And of course, the more uh, the more tape you put down behind it, the more it would actually kind of uh, create more or different type of texture. The other type of tape that you could use would be, um, see if I can get this to move over here. The other type of tape you could use would be duct tape. I don't, I want to say wasabi, but I don't think that has any type of, uh, that's kind of smooth, isn't it? I don't even have wasabi tape. I know. I know what people are thinking. How could you live with without wasabi tape and an anime and a laminator? Mary Ann says, I like your challenges. Didn't think I could do that intricate tangle, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, I know. The You mean the one that's happening now? Yeah, I'm actually, today's color is, um, is green. I remember when I did that book hypnotic i'm not really a fan of a of a complicated book like that um and i remember when i drew when i did that when i was drawing that book i it was an accident i had done a mandala book and i was popping the pages into uh the computer to get them set up as coloring pages and all of a sudden i clicked on something and that's what happened the page turned into um what appeared like the, all the pages in hypnotic and I was like what what the heck just happened so I posted the page on the coloring group and I said is anyone interested in coloring this type of thing I mean I'm not really sure and people loved it so I decided to do a whole book of it and then I remember one night it was a while ago that that book came out right one night I could not sleep I was going through like a insomniac period I get period of life I don't know I just couldn't sleep and I remember sitting there and coloring that in the middle of the night and I colored the page the cover for that book until like oh god I don't even know two three a.m about three a.m I don't know what was happening to me at that time in my life but I just could not sleep now I just can't wait to go to sleep and can't keep my eyes open. And we're leaving it that way. <laughs> you challenge us to color it, and we did. Exactly, right? Exactly, Lynn. Isn't it amazing? It kind of makes you uh, really kind of get lost in your thoughts when you're coloring that, um, that type of page. 
especially if you don't worry about where you're putting the colors and where you're placing the colors and you just kind of, you know, take out one color and just kind of zip, zip, zip all over the place. That type of thing. I'm not sure what the next challenge will be. Um, I've got to make it something doable. I'll tell you though, a few people have said to me, have emailed me or said, can you just email me with the account? No, I can't email people with the, with the, the daily prompt. I'm not, I mean, all I'm doing basically is posting it every morning. Um, but I can't like email people. I'm not going to call you up with it. I'm not going to, uh, come to your house with it. I'm not going to, um, I don't know. I mean, if you can't print it, you can't, if somebody wanted me to mail them the pages. I, I, I don't know. I, and I start to feel bad that I should do all that, but I, I got to be realistic. It was kind of like the whole birthday thing. You know, it's been bugging me to be honest with you. Um, I was saying happy birthday to a couple of people and then I had to make the decision to just not do that because people kept telling me, kept messaging me and telling me when their birthday was and that, uh, can you uh, backtrack now and be able to uh, say happy birthday to my friend whose birthday was in February? And so I decided that this was just begun becoming a little bit too much and it was becoming, um, it was turning into a birthday group and it really was a very, very hard decision to make. It was rough, you know, it was like, I only knew it was your birthday if you popped up in my Facebook feed. So, um, I don't know. We're here to color, right? So you can't see how great this page is till you add the colors and then wow. I know, isn't it crazy? Very crazy, Bev. So um, Lynn just made a comment about another challenge. Color a page with hypnotic with 20 colors. I know, Alice, I did. I showed up at your house. I knocked on the door. You didn't answer the door. I said, well, she's not gonna answer the door. <laughs> I am just gonna have to drive back home now. And I'm just going to have to, I don't know. Now I have to go all the way home. She didn't even want to answer the door. It's like Publishers Clearinghouse. It's shown up on your doorstep. And you weren't home. And somebody is calling me. Maybe it's the FedEx guy. Nope. Not at all. I don't know who this is. I changed the ring on my phone so I know when it's certain people now. Does anyone else ever done that? And now it rings, and now you know what I say? I said, oh, now it's so and so. And now I don't want to answer it. That's even weird, even worse. Thank you, Marianne. I appreciate the support about that because it was just getting out of control. I mean, happy birthday to the world is all I have to say. You know? I can't say happy birthday to every single person in the entire universe. It's like, um, it's like, um, trying to save all the animals in the world. I know leaf blower man. There's this thing happening in my neighborhood. Actually, they're trying to get leaf blowers banned. They're trying to sign a petition so that people don't have, they can't use a leaf blower because of the, the noise of the engine. And then some other person, people around my neighborhood crack me up sometimes. Then somebody else wants to um, uh, find people, uh, something to do with cigarette butts being thrown on the ground. And they want, you have to be, you can be fined for, I don't know what, these people need to get a life if you ask me. They need to just like, I, I mean, if that's all you can't, how can you possibly catch up to all that? I don't know what these people are going to do. People demand a perk. I know. Exactly. I never use Siri. That's funny. Lynn said she changed Siri to an Australian man. Those who want their birthdays honored can just announce their own birthdays. That's a very good point, Mary. Thank you. I very. I don't even announce my birthday. I didn't have my birthday posted on my Facebook page. And then, was it Lynn who said something about my birthday? And then all of a sudden, everyone said happy birthday, which I appreciated, but... It really wasn't a big deal to me. Were you that telemarketing person at my door, Alice, is saying, I thought you were trying to sell me something? I know. How about those people that come by with the solar panels? They do that in my neighborhood anyway. 
He has not had his leaf blower out lately. I don't know what is happening. I need somebody to come and uh, work on my yard, actually, with the leaf blower. And I've called a couple of people. And apparently the new thing here around here is that landscapers work from home. And they have decided that I can send them a photo. And uh, they don't even want to get out of their bed, apparently, and come out and give me a price. So they're not hired. Or well, one guy wanted me to go pick him up. I don't I don't pick up strangers and put them in my car. Colleen Boyle, how are you? You never know what people have in their pockets, you know? Could fall into my car. I've always kind of felt like that though, Heather. Heather's saying when you get to be a certain age, it's like just like another day. A lot of people don't feel like that though, Heather. They want, I mean, after a certain age, they kind of think. Wow, I've reached whatever, such and such an age. I'm supposed to celebrate because I've reached this age. I, I don't have that attitude. And I always kind of forget how old I really am. So I'll just, the only one I can remember is that I'm just 39. So there you go. We'll just have to keep remembering that. I just had my back and front all done for me. Of Bev's talking about her outside, her landscape. And of course I paid, but I didn't have to do it. Professionals took two hours, would take me all week. Yeah, I could do it, but then I'm going to be hobbling. I don't really feel like it. But let me tell you, if landscapers are working from home, I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh, I have to go sign for my packet. Hang on a second, everyone. Okay, it's here. Yay, this is so exciting. I didn't even have to sign for it after all that. How about that? He just opened the door and handed, I just opened the door and he just handed it to me. I guess he just needed to hand it to a person. See, Sharon and I are the same age. It's tough being 39, isn't it? Maybe we need to have like a 39 club. As this is going on, our landscape crew is doing our spring cleanup, Heidi is saying. How, imagine, right? So I have background landscape noise to color by today. Usually I have background landscape noise too. Usually if it's going to happen, there's no, if there's noise, if noise is going to happen, we all know this, it happens during a color along, right? Matter of fact, just when the color along was about to be delivered, uh, there was a huge oil truck outside my house making an awful lot of noise. And I said, of course. So I actually kind of waited to hit the button. Heather's stuck on 27. Oh, I remember when I was 27. What a what an age, right, Heather? That was a crazy time in life. If I did that with Siri, I would be spending a lot of time on my phone just to hear him talk. <laughs> Maybe. That's kind of funny, though. I never use Siri. At all. I don't know why. Maybe I don't like her name. At all. I, I don't know. If you tell um, Alexa that she stinks, she actually tells you that she's actually scent scentless and she does not have a smell. Lynn says, I was surprised to hear a man's voice announce a phone call this morning. Oh my goodness, that is funny. My gardeners annoy me, Mary Ann, saying they are always clipping my beautiful trees too much. They grow crazy with the clippers. We are, isn't it just great to just kind of all get together and just complain about all the things that bug us? Hey, at least they showed up. At least they're not doing landscaping from home. There's a big shortage of uh, people that, like, come places in my area are really having a hard time hiring people. I mean, I guess I can see why now if everyone thinks they can just work from home. It's like, let me take that, let me make that pizza for you from my, uh, my home oven. I don't know, it's just, I guess we've learned how to become... How to stay home and now that's all people want to do? I, I don't understand. 
I'm gonna pop this over here with this this um, cadmium red. It looks like orange to me. I don't know about you, but and I'm liking how I can just kind of see the white through it. Some of the colors are showing the textures better than others, wouldn't you say? And let's add some blue down to this corner one. Oh, that's true. Good point, Alice. They said that because of COVID, they signed for you. I got my iPad. That was a good thing I got, Lynn. I, Lynn, Alice says, I need my gutters worked on. Winter did them in. I know, I need my gutters worked on too. It's crazy. Maybe someone can do that job from home, Alice. I have Siri. I don't have Siri turned off, Heather, but it's a good idea. I wish they had male Siri. I would choose Rip from Yellowstone and I would use it all the time. I think you might be able to do that, Sharon. I was going to change my um, my ringtone like to certain people. Like, you know when someone's ringtone says, pick up the phone, it's your mother calling, like that. You know when they have those kind of ringtones? Marianne says, I hated 40. Someone gave me a mug with 40 and threw it out. I thought I was reading that and I was expecting you to say, someone gave me a mug when I turned 40 and I threw it at them. I know, I don't remember. Well, 40, eh, I don't know. I guess it wasn't a big deal. 27 was crazy. Sharon says, because, because of additional $300 unemployment benefits, it keeps keep, it's keeping them from going to work. Uh, well, then, this is my suggestion, Sharon. I think there should be an incentive, you know? There should be some sort of incentive. That if you get a job and you make X amount of dollars, then that, I don't know, there should be something. Maybe people could just volunteer their time. How about that? Lynn says 40 was difficult and 50 was easier. Yeah, you, I guess I agree too. 50 was easier. What am I saying? I'm not, I don't even know what that would have felt like. What am I talking about? I don't know what, will it, what it will be like to be 50. No, 50 was easier. I don't know. I guess it is easier. Why is it easier? Is it because we just kind of know things that are like, we can just say, you know, be those old people that kind of just say, whatever we feel like saying, right? You can become curmudgeons. I don't know what it is. Speak up. Al yeah, Sharon, I think you can do that. If you changed it to, I think you can change it. Are you enjoying 77, Jean? Jean says, try 77. I know, but think of how wise you are, right? Think of it that way. All right, we've got to put a color here. I'm not really sure what color. Oh, let's go with yellow. Does it get harder after 70? Uh, I guess it does, right? I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I can do more. I'm not as old as I really am. And then I kind of think, I'm not, my body's not just keep, I don't know, just not keeping up with me. I don't like having to like have people do things for me. That kind of bugs me. They don't do them the right way, you know? Come on, we all feel like that. Read somewhere that restaurant owner was offering $20 per hour and still couldn't get the employees to go back to work. Really, Sharon? I think they should let um, people, I think people, are gonna, people should have to volunteer their time while they're getting unemployment. What do you think about that? Will I get elected if I run for office with that with that attitude? It should be like X amount of uh, volunteer hours in order to maintain your unemployment benefit. You could volunteer at like, a, I don't know, a soup kitchen or you could clean up the roads. What should my, my campaign slogan be? Vote for me, right? I don't know. I think it should be that. All right, I'm gonna put something in the middle that's kind of a little bit darker on those lines that are kind of flipping around, like going through. Um, let's be bold and use a brown. I'm gonna use chocolate. I found 60 to be the worst for me, Sharon is saying. It seems everything starts to change and hurt after 60. Really? In all this time, I thought you were really 39 and now I am Oh my goodness, my computer almost restarted. Hey, Yvonne, I'm at work. We'll we will rewatch this tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Now I'm like stumbling over my words. What is happening? 
I think anyone with benefits from the state or government should have to do something. Well, Sharon, let's start our campaign. There you go. You know what I have for? I have a job for them, actually. They could volunteer to clean up my yard and not from home. Mary says, it's no longer our grandma's 50, 60, 70 plus. I know, right? I always kind of thought that my grandmother was just always old. You know, I can't even believe that she wasn't, um, I don't know. I just always thought of her as old. But now, I don't know what it is. I'm popping a piece of paper back here. I'm going to use this chocolate color and I am going to see what I can do for my middles, my lines in between everything. When I had this page set up in uh, my computer for the book, I called it the cogs, you know, like the cog, like a wheel cog. When they say like, you know, the wheels are turning inside your head. I don't know. Are they still turning? Good. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? So yes and no, huh, Jean? I know. Isn't it crazy? Vote for Ian. She will color your world. <laughs> there you go. Volunteer your time. I'll even ship you the leaves. Leaf cleanup. There's a way to get your yard cleaned up. Leaves for sale. They can come and volunteer. The other volunteer job I could give them is they could help clean my house. There you go. I bet you get in touch with, what's her name, Sharon? The governor in this state is now the secretary of, what is her title, Sharon? Is it secretary of commerce now for the federal government? Um, I think I need to talk, need to call Gina. What do you think about this chocolate color? I gotta give it a quick shot. Dawn has got a paragraph here. Let me read this. I think it is more of what you have to put up with when working other than going back to work. People are crazy. Well said. And a lot do not care about anyone but themselves. Very true. You have so many that think the virus is a hoax. Oh, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday about that. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. Insane, insane, insane. That's all I know. We don't want to talk about the whole virus thing during this color along because I don't want to upset anybody. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. And the other thing is that I don't want to want the video to get flagged. So that's the only reason why I don't talk about that. Sharon says, I would love a house, love to hire a house cleaner. It gets harder and harder to do. It takes longer. Um, well, maybe someone could volunteer their time, Sharon, right? What do you think? Could volunteer your their time to come out clean cook why not i know i don't know if i want someone cleaning my house though i think i'm turning into a germaphobe is what's happening i gotta concentrate here so i don't i don't go over the line so i stay within it this is kind of like a burnishing technique i guess when you're kind of really pressing hard with this pencil really heavy pressure and I'm not sure what's going to happen when I get to the middle, to that middle circle yet, you know? Um, Secretary of Commerce, that's right. Heidi says, I would have hired a housekeeper at 30. I like to clean, actually. Isn't that awful? Is that bad work? Is that a bad, work, bad thing to say? I should have, I wouldn't have to be vetting for it now. So do you have anybody now, Sharon? It's kind of hard to find people, right? I kind of enjoy it. I mean, I wouldn't mind somebody coming in and cleaning like the heavy stuff, like maybe wash all the walls. I have dreams of it. I'm the only person that I know that actually dreams of having the walls of their living room washed or vacuumed or, you know, what is happening to me? I guess I need to get a life. I'm finding I don't have much time to do crafts and coloring since I'm going to this pre-diabetic class, Alice is saying. Oh, no. How is that class going, by the way? I know you were talking about it a little bit, but um, I know, and I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while either, Alice. 
I'm telling you, it's been like crazy, crazy, crazy things happening in my life lately. I don't know what is going on. But I'm hoping that the next month will not be as bananas, you know? All right, so I'm getting this whole thing. Heather says she's liking how this is looking so far. I'm kind of liking it too. My hand hurts though, I'm not going to lie. You know, I feel like a little kid that says, I can't really do that coloring anymore because my hand hurts. And I haven't even had to pivot. I bought a new chair the other day for my desk. Hated it so much. I couldn't even believe it. It was this adorable little chair that was like, um, it had sides to it, like a little spa looking chair. And I sat in it and said, well, this is probably the most uncomfortable thing I have ever sat in in my entire life. So this is after I already put it together. I, gave, I ended up giving it to my mom because I was actually that lazy that I did not feel like disassembling it and putting it back in the box and not, I mean, it's not like I had to go to the store and return it. I could have had it just returned by mail and had it shipped and picked up in my house, but how lazy am I that I didn't even want to do that? Plus, I thought I was going to get stuck in it. It was just like, it was very uncomfortable. The chocolate looks nice, doesn't it? Thank you. Good morning, Rosie. I had my book ready and time went by. Oops. I did the center of the circle with the pencil on its side. Oh, that's a good idea. It does pop, doesn't it? It's hard on my body. Pain and now I have to write down and measure my food and count calories. Oh, I don't like counting calories or measuring my food. Um, I know somebody that's doing that Noom diet. And it's like 1,200 calories or something. Roz, hello, hello, hello. So many new, pe new people are popping in. Or people I haven't seen in a long time. Isn't it crazy? So typically a color along lasts about an hour, right? We're kind of like rounding the hour, I guess. But I do want to make sure I finish this page because what's worse than an unfinished page? Then you're going to be thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. It's like an unanswered, an unanswered telephone call. Valerie Goodwin, good morning, good morning. She says, I couldn't get it to download. Which couldn't, what couldn't you get to download? All right, so let me tell you, when we do a color along, they're always free to watch. But if you want to color what I'm coloring, you can get my color along book. So you can get the color along book for $15.99 on Amazon, or you can get the PDF on my website. The links are in the description of this video. Now, today's color along, there's also a link that you could get this page for free for today. But each week, if you want that page, that book is a huge deal. What do you all say? It's a big deal. Um, because it's $15.99 for 22 color alongs. All of the pages in this book are exclusive to this book. So if you didn't have to even color with me and do watch these videos, you would still have a brand new coloring book. So what does $15.99 come out to? It's less than, less than $2 of a, a lesson or tutorial basically, right? Um, Lynn says, I'm on Noom. I've lost the same four pounds several times. <laughs> well, at least it's giving you're giving them repeat business. Hello, Kimberly, by the way. Haven't seen you in a while either. Who else is here? Heidi had to, go, had to leave. Okay, Heidi, thanks so much for stopping in. I hope you can join us next week also. Jean says, after spending 65 days in the hospital last year. Wow, that was a long time, Jean. I, for one, can tell you the virus is not a hoax. I totally agree with you. So what do you think about Noom, Lynn? About that same four pounds? Uh, you think you're just giving them repeat business or? Yeah, I think, I know somebody that's doing it and they're eating like 1,200 calories. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, who are they kidding? They're starving, you know? So I'm not doing it. I was thinking about doing the hard-boiled egg diet again, though. I was thinking about that. But I don't know. Right now, I'm just thinking about lunch. I'm always thinking about food. Ask Alice. I'm just thinking about my tuna sandwich. I know, it does get a little discouraged. I guess you kind of, you track your food, Dawn. I don't know. Can somebody explain to Dawn how Noom works? 
you track your food, I guess. I'm not really sure. It's one of those things like a, like what should you eat? You track your food, it counts your calories, it tells you how much you, much you should eat. I don't know. I'm pretty good at my at self at self control and having willpower when it comes to food. So, I mean, I think I think about more food than I eat. Rosie says, I bought volume nine before I knew what color along was. Uh, did you buy the wrong volume? Roz says, I am half vaccinated. Good for you, Roz. Okay. All right, so here is, we're rounding the corner here, getting so excited that it's getting close to the end This chocolate really makes it pop. What a nice color. But my hand is gone. I've been dieting since I was 12, so I know what I'm supposed to eat, Lynn is saying. So what do you think about Noom? Are you going to continue it? I thought, it, I to me, it seemed like it was a little expensive to do, but I don't know. I think the hard-boiled boiled egg diet is a great diet. I did lose a lot of weight with that. But... tough thinking about food too trying to find food i can eat i know i do spend a lot of time thinking about food oh okay all right yeah weight watchers is really not for me but i do love pizza heather i do i do agree with you i've given up sierra mist and diet iced tea and just water i haven't drank soda in a long long time lynn says it's noom is kind of time consuming i signed up for six months the trick is to log everything they want you to read stuff and change your brain. Well, let me tell you, if you were going to eat something and you knew it was going to make you really sick, like imagine if you were allergic to, uh, I don't know, strawberries or something, and they made you feel really sick and you just got sick to your stomach, would you still eat them? Or imagine if you were allergic to buffalo wings. I mean, strawberries is kind of a stupid example because that's not like a buffalo wing. All right, I'm going to go with... Um, we got to get a good color for the middle, don't you think? I'm going to go with this green color because I don't see any greens that are near it. And I'm going to go with Lynn's method up on the side of my pencil. I don't really need to, to track my food like that. I will, op I will be opting not to do it. Okay, look at the difference on the side of the pencil. I'm going to leave it like that. Leave it a little white inside there. Look at that. The more I press, the more it brings out that texture. Doesn't that remind you of pizza? <laughs> it does. It reminds me of pizza. I got a good deal on Noom, so it was okay. I can send discount codes. Oh, Lynn, go for it. Okay. Hey, Cheryl Michael. Wow, I haven't seen you in a long time. Very, very cool. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so... Here is today's finished page. This was a lot of fun today. I'm so happy that everyone was able to find us this morning. Marvin says, hi, he can only watch but not comment. Com com comment. Goodness gracious. Uh, hey, Marvin. Uh, not, no, gonna do doom. I have too much going on to track everything I eat at this time. I know, me too. I have a hard enough time trying to actually cook the food. Now I have to write it down. But someone could volunteer their time that's on unemployment to come over and help me and track my noon. Right, Sharon? We can put them all to work. Okay, let's see what the next color along is. We meet again next Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Be here or be square. We are doing speckled. Um, I haven't really announced like the medium that's happening, but speckled is all about using a black pen to create like a speckled look. So we can use really whatever we want for this particular one, for this particular uh, mandala. And then let's talk about the rest of April. On April 22nd, we are meeting again at 10 a.m. and we're going to use the color, this grayscale coloring page um, of these two big giant Gerber daisies with woodless colored pencils and then shading with colored pencils. So I think that, um, I think this is gonna be fun. I like the change. I like that we are here together once again on Facebook. What do you guys think about that? Thank you for joining me for this today. Um, and the re replay for all of these 
uh, videos will always remain on Facebook here on my Facebook page. There'll be a link on my website and I'm going to try to upload them to YouTube, but I, I'm not actually not even sure if I'm going to do that at this point because it's just something that's a little more time consuming and I have better things to do or not better things to do, but I have to go eat. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't want to spend too much time on the computer, right? No, I'm only kidding. I don't really don't know if I'm going to upload it to YouTube or not. I'm going to see what happens. Shannon says, if I did that, they would spend it saying, I don't believe how much this lady loves pepper biscuits. <laughs> I love a pepper biscuit too. Um, I haven't had a pepper biscuit in a very, very long time, actually. Okay, my friends, I will see everyone next week, I hope. And um, if you're interested in joining me for painting classes on Mondays, just let me know. I can get you the link. Camp is going to be May 12th to May 16th. Draw-alongs are meeting on Wednesdays. The next draw-along will probably start um, in July. So just kind of stay tuned to my Facebook page, annemanera.com slash events, and you'll be able to stay in the know about everything you need to know. Have a great day, everyone. Go eat something yummy and uh, make this the cheat day, and maybe you can lose the four pounds you gained, right? So hope you have a great day, everyone. Thanks so much.